Good evening, farmers, and welcome to another very important and educative video. And in the, today's video, we'll be talking about uh, the diseases, diseases that I have uh, encountered during my time as a goose farmer. And uh, this uh, lesson is uh, very important to all the potential farmers. And uh, therefore, if you are not one of our subscribers, please uh, subscribe. And uh, for those uh, who have been uh, following us, thank you for the positive feedback. We'll keep updating you when uh, something new comes up. So one of uh, the main uh, challenges uh, for any new farmer, irrespective of uh, the livestock that you are dealing with, uh, the diseases and the uh, parasites because uh, these have uh, the ability to decimate the size of your flock and also uh, to make sure that they are not reproducing and therefore we must be on the lookout for the diseases and uh, before we get into the various diseases uh, that I have observed let's first of all look at uh, how do you know whether you are a geese is a sick and uh, here there are telltale signs there are very common signs the first one is uh, when you look at uh, your geese and you find that uh, he or she is not uh, active yeah, he is not uh, feeding he is not interested with food he is not even taking water and that is a sure sign that uh, something is wrong with that geese the other thing that you're supposed to be on the lookout is when you see that uh, your goose is uh, limping. Yeah, she is uh, limping or he is limping yeah, during uh, uh, when uh, uh, there is uh, some kind of a movement. And uh, those two, you need to look at them uh, keenly. You're supposed to grab that bird and uh, you do a physical examination, especially of the legs, so that you can be able to remove whatever object might be lodged inside there and therefore let us get right into the common uh, diseases the first one is of course uh, parasitic where your geese uh, needs to be dewormed uh, the main uh, the recommendation that i have here is that they are supposed to be dewormed uh, once after every three months that means that you need to dewarm them after 90 days that means that uh, you dwarm them so that you can be able to remove the intestinal parasites, the ones that are going to make sure that uh, your goose are not laying their eggs because uh, they consume a lot of food that the geese feed on. These are mostly the roundworms and the tipworms. So the dewormers that you are going to use are just uh, the common ones that you use for other uh, livestock, poultry like uh, chickens. The other, the second uh, disease that I have observed is what is known as a bubble foot what is known as a bubble foot and this one comes up when your goose maybe steps on a something that is a sharp like a metal like a thorn and then that wound that develops there especially on the lower surface of the foot it becomes infected and then it is filled with the pus and other debris you find that the goose does not have the ability to heal well as a human being does and therefore they are going to need your assistance yeah, so that you can uh, puncture that uh, bubble foot and then you apply some antiseptic or even wash it in the soil. I'm going to make a more detailed video on how you deal with that condition of bubble foot so keep on uh, uh, following. The other condition I have observed are mostly respiratory diseases. These are something to do with the difficulties in uh, breathing and this one I have found that uh, they are easily treated with the, the locally available antibiotic just like uh, the ones you use for your chicken. So how do you diagnose these diseases? You look at the way that the goose is uh, breathing, uh, breathing very fast, uh, shallowly, it can even open the mouth and you see that it doesn't have the appetite for food. That way you are able to conclude that uh, something is wrong with the lungs of that bird and uh, what you do is that you just grab your antibiotic, mostly put it in water, then you can give him. The other disease I've observed, uh, this one uh, uh, mostly 
occurs when the goose does not have enough uh, water. Uh, the goose is just feeding on uh, the commercial feeds and the birds sometimes they suffer from uh, hyper acidity. Uh, so just like the way that the human beings have uh, that condition of hyper acidity, the same condition can be faced uh, with your geese. So the, one of the, the telltale signs of this uh, condition of hyper acidity is that uh, you see here the, the stomach of the geese which is located uh, on the near the chest region there. You find that uh, it is uh, very full, it is uh, protruding and when you grab the bird and uh, you press it, the, there is nothing inside there, the only gases which are coming out. So how do you deal with this uh, condition? What you do is that uh, you just get the normal anti-acid uh, tablets, the ones that are consumed by human beings in the various parts of uh, the world, and then you, you dissolve them in water, and then you feed your goose uh, that water. So it is just like uh, the normal, the way you treat yourself when you have uh, and, uh, that acidic conditions. So apart from those, those I think are the main ones that I have seen. Others are diseases which are viral. Yeah. And remember that the main problem when you are dealing with geese is that uh, they don't show the signs immediately. So they already they show the signs when the diseases have uh, progressed. And mostly you find that uh, your birds are dying yeah, one by one. There's nothing you can do about that unless you identify the source of the disease. So the other thing I have observed with these birds is that uh, uh, the other condition which affects uh, the new farmers is like uh, when these birds consume uh, water. They consume water that has been uh, exposed to another organism which has died inside that water. So there is that group of uh, uh, bacteria, I don't remember the name, which uh, do very well in water that has a dead organic material, like maybe a rat has died in that water, and then your geese uh, consume that water. Yeah, That one kills them very fast, within a very short period of time. So it is also uh, something of importance to check the feeds that they are feeding on, check whether they are feeding on uh, plastics because they are attracted to shiny uh, materials and also check on uh, uh, the quality of water because uh, uh, these are living organisms and therefore they need a clean environment. So before you embark on uh, treatment uh, and other strategies I have uh, outlined in this video, please make sure that uh, your birds have uh, a clean water uh, the foods are healthy, they are safe for them to consume because uh, food and water, they are the main culprits. They can really cause a lot of diseases in these birds. Thank you very much and have yourself a nice evening.